family vacations. Sometimes when you were a little kid, your friends would go on big elaborate trips to like Disneyland or California. But back in the 1980s, you didn't have to go that far for an incredible family vacation. Today I'm talking about the now defunct Rainbow Valley on Prince Edward Island. This week on Sackville Sunday stories. So crank it up. House party, massive paper cut from here to here. There was a guy walking a ferret on a leash on Cobblewood Road. Prince Edward Island, gateway to fun. They had everything, Sandspit, Rainbow Valley, Bonshaw 500, Fairyland. My family went to all of them when I was about 12 years old. My brother would have been about nine. It was an amazing time, except for one small detail. Mom forgot our bathing suits. We were in the car, 1981 Oldsmobile Delta 88 Royal Brougham. Green in color, dad loved that car. We had just left the cottage on our way to Rainbow Valley, the water park, to spend the entire day. In the car, two bombs were dropped. The first bomb, mom said, oh my gosh, I forgot to pack your bathing suits, boys. We're gonna have to make a quick stop to Kmart. Second bomb, while we were away, your grandmother was taking care of your guinea pigs and the Great Dane ate them. This was disclosed to us on the way to the water park. While the family was on vacation, my grandmother was tasked with taking care of the two guinea pigs and the Great Dane. So Bud and Abby were the guinea pigs. The Great Dane's name was Lace. My grandmother thought the guinea pigs would like a little bit of sun. So she took them outside and put them on the lawn, made a little ring at a garden fence around them so they couldn't get away. It was only about a foot high, so the Great Dane absolutely had no trouble. She just reached in and gobbled up our pets. Mom told us this on the way to Rainbow Valley because she felt that this would be the best time rather than telling us, you know, on the drive home. Ryan and I sat in the car sobbing over the loss of our guinea pigs. Mom returned from the Kmart. She had a look on her face, that, that look of beaming with satisfaction and pride. She got in the car. We said, did you get the bathing suits? She said, did I ever? And that's when she reached in the bag. You see, mom was always big into photos, so she found bathing suits that she felt would go perfectly in the family vacation album. First of all, they were Speedos. Secondly, they were rainbow striped Speedos. Mom said, isn't this great? Won't these pictures look great? We're going to Rainbow Valley and I've got these rainbow Speedos for you to wear, matching. You and your brother will match perfectly in these rainbow Speedos. I'm 12, Ryan's nine. We're like, first of all, I don't even want to wear Speedos. Secondly, I don't want to wear a big rainbow Speedo and hang out with my parents. You're just at that age where you just kind of want a little bit of distance. You want a little bit of free time, but you also can't afford to go to Rainbow Valley on your own. So the choice was clear. Go to Rainbow Valley and wear the Speedos or go back to the cottage. Still saddened over the loss of the guinea pigs, Ryan and I slipped on those rainbow speedos and went to Rainbow Valley. I mean, this was the time of Bermuda shorts. The longer the shorts were, the cooler you were. Ocean Pacific, Bermuda shorts, board shorts, whatever you called them. The, if, if they came down just above the knee, you were cool. And there I was wearing a little French cut Speedo covered in rainbows. And mom is just taking pictures left, right, and center because they go so well with the theme of the day. To this day, Mom defends her position on letting us know the fate of the guinea pigs just before we went to Rainbow Valley. And for a lot of years, I, I disagreed with her. But honestly, I think it really was the best time because it's almost impossible to go down a water slide without a huge smile on your face. So she basically dealt, dealt out some bad news and then took us to the greatest water park in all of Prince Edward Island. What was your favorite attraction at Rainbow Valley when it was open? Mine was definitely the water slides and maybe that flying saucer gift shop. Put your comments in below. This has been Chad and you've been watching Sackville Sunday Stories. See you next week. Sackville.live is brought to you in part by the Doctor's Formula, plant-based supplements for professional athletes.